you've ever stepped on asphalt or concrete while barefoot on a summer day in Alabama, you know how painful that can be. Yeah, hot. A lot of times we don't think about that heat and that hot surface when we take our pets outside. CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner joins us live to explain why we should. Right, Jim and Sherry. Recently, a photo out of California went viral. It showed a dog's paw bruised and blistered from the sun. So we wanted to show you that the heat outside on your sidewalk can be more than what you're expecting. With this thermometer, we're in the shade. It's already past 6 o'clock. We're looking at 102.5 degrees. It's too hot. We took a walk with dog trainer Liddell Kennedy. Up and down, up and down. All right. You've heard about walking a mile in someone else's shoes, but what about in a pet's paws? The pads is where the dogs actually, where their sweat glands are actually at. You know, they don't have any sweat glands on the rest of their body, so they expel the heat by panting. So we tested the temperature difference concrete to grass. The grass, you want to get them on the grass, or you want to get them anywhere where you, there's actually shade. This picture from a California veterinarian's office recently went viral, showing what a hot surface like asphalt or concrete can do. The vascular bed where the blood supply is exposed to everything on the ground, uh, that's the nasty as well as the clean. Vets see it every year. And not just in the summer, like at Just Happy Hounds. If you touch the ground and it hurts your hand or it burns your hand, I immediately tell them don't even do it. I mean, keep the dog off of it. It makes for a painful picture, but the sun's rays can also be deadly. A burn pad's gonna make the dog uncomfortable a couple of days. Heat stroke's gonna kill it uh, and kill it quickly. And so you just heard from that veterinarian about heat stroke. That's something that they are very concerned about around this time of year. A dog's normal body temperature ranges between 101 degrees to 103 degrees. When you start getting up to 105 degrees, that's when the worries about heat stress start setting in. We've got more information and tips about how to protect your pet on our website. That's WIAT.com. For now, we are live in Birmingham. Lee Garner, CBS 42 News. Thank you, Lee.